September 25th, St. Vincent Stromby. St. Vincent Stromby was a passionist priest and the bishop of Marsarata and Tolentino. Born in the year 1745 near Rome, the son of a wealthy businessman, St. Vincent Stromby never showed any inclination for any occupation other than the service of God. He found his vocation after his ordination as a deacon in the year 1767, when he made a retreat among the Passionists, where St. Paul of the Cross, their founder, was residing at the time. The Passionist houses are called retreats, and their rule must be situated outside cities. St. Paul of the Cross told his brethren on his deathbed, as he taught them during his active years, to conserve always the spirit of prayer, solitude, and poverty. In that way, the apostolic success of their works would also be conserved. The life of contemplation, essential formation for any fruitful works, was what St. Vincent Stromby already desired. It has been said that St. Vincent Stromby knew all the works of St. Thomas Aquinas by heart, and his knowledge of sacred scripture was also as wondrous. His studies of religion continued throughout his lifetime, yet his preaching was so simple that all could easily grasp his thought. He never used notes, but taught according to the needs of his listeners, which he always discerned with exactitude after praying intently at the foot of the crucifix. As he studied, he seemed to see around his desk the faces of his spiritual children, waiting for the bread of life he was destined to break for them. This method of study has been preserved among his followers in the order. The Passionists think of and pray for their future spiritual children before they study. St. Vincent became a bishop after many years of preaching missions all over Italy, but never could he forget his order. Though he had to put aside its habit, St. Paul of the Cross on his deathbed had said to him several times, Padre Vincent, I recommend to you the poor congregation. When St. Vincent asked what he wished him to do, St. Paul of the Cross replied, You will do great things. You will do great good. I recommend to you this poor congregation. As bishop, he continued wherever possible to rise at midnight for the divine office, and he regretted being unable to dedicate more than five hours to prayer each day. He called in the poor and gave them alms. He visited the hospitals and the prisoners, blessed, embraced, and helped them. He preached for his clergy a beautiful mission, then organized specialized services for the various professions of the laity, saying the lawyers need different instruction and different sewings than the merchants or the physicians. His table was very frugal. Never did he permit more than two dishes. He reduced expenditures to a minimum to be able to give more to the poor. He wished to resign as bishop at the age of 78, and Pope Leo XII ceded to his wish, but asked him to come to Rome as his counselor. That his life was soon to end was revealed to him, and when the Holy Father was about to die that same year, he offered his life to save that of the Vicar of Christ. He did not say so directly, but told everyone not to be anxious, because the Pope would live. Someone he knew had offered his life for him, he added. The prayer was answered on the very day he said this. December 24th, the Pope rose, suddenly cured. Three days later, St. Vincent was struck by a stroke and died on January 1st, 1824. He was canonized by Pope Pius XII in 1950.